Joining me today in the studio is City Councilman War 3, Richard Johnson. So we're going to be discussing a few different things today. What is your review of the City Council movements in 2022? In 2022, as you will see in 2023, we established goals at the beginning of the year. Typically, we all meet um, for a couple of hours at the beginning of January to determine what we want to do. Uh, in 2022, we covered things like homeless awareness, some stormwater retention, uh, county pockets, things of those nature. Um, we're moving forward on the gymnasium. We're supposed to get an update here in the next couple of weeks. Um, as you saw from the mayor's release a couple of, I think it's two weeks ago now, um, that we started work on our first uh, county pocket talk um, that's supposed to happen along Ridge Road. And then we're also still working you know, with Casper in the state in regards to our stormwater and then as far as uh, homelessness, uh, we were able to work with the county and purchase the Stagecoach Motel for the Camilla Shelter. So we really um, did out of, I, those are the four that I, of the five that I remember off the top of my head that we actually saw pretty solid. Oh, and then the 15th Street Rail Experience. And um, we're about to have a discussion on the, basically how we're gonna clean out the asbestos of the rail cars. So everything has had movement through 2022. Uh, of the chief of staff of the mayor sent out our requests uh, for our 2023 ideas. I only really have two uh, for the boards I represent. Um, Animal Shelter had expressed interest, you know, in uh, acquiring a more centralized dog park. And then the Historic Preservation Board had asked us to uh, put on the front burner uh, looking into not just mothballing, but what we can do with the pump house that's across from the Eagle's Nest. Is there anything else that you want to leave the community with with 2023? Anything that's going to be super exciting for them to know? Well, not really until the beginning of January, because as I stated, um, the chief of staff asked all council members, so all nine of us uh, come with a, a certifiable amount of goals that we'd like to accomplish. And then we do a vetting process um, in January to what's called like the Magnificent Seven or something like that, that the seven items that all of council agree that we should move forward on. And so those will come uh, in about central January. I think our meeting happens somewhere around the 18th of January where we'll, all of the council members will come forward and you know, sales pitch their ideas of what they want to see staff uh, focus on in 2023. So at the time, we really don't have you know, too much emphasis, you know, like any wow factor for the community because you know, all of us are, are prepping our ideas. And so I think they're supposed to be in to our chief of staff, I think, by sometime next week. Great. Thank you so much for oh, coming today you're welcome. and speaking with me. Oh, it's no problem <laughs> at all. Thank you. You're welcome.